All right, so now I'm gonna get my rock arms uh, built, uh, get the alignment right on the valves. But here's a picture of the CB performance. Uh, that's the ones I got um, sent. Regardless if they're CB performance, aftermarket, not aftermarket, you know, if they're um, stock or whatever, you wanna make sure that they're off to the side a little bit. I have a, a stock engine sitting over there and they're kind of pushed to the right and saying, hey, push to the left just a little bit. And that's supposed to help you know turn the actual valve spring in there <clears throat> but i've looted up i've already cleaned it up a little bit and i'm going to get an idea of where um you know what kind of shimming i've got a bunch of shimming i can use what kind of shimming i need to use we'll go from there um, i won't bore you too much um obviously this is what it looks like right now and then i'll show you what it's going to look like built up all right, so kind of a pain in the butt. This is not the hardware for one that's going to go in here. Uh, i got to find the hardware that I got. Um, the one, you know, the distance between here and here is not going to change because you got your studs, right? So you got to figure out uh, where you can get those off center a little bit, but still on the landing in order to make work. So, you know, I got one shim, one shim, a bigger shim on here and a bigger shim on here uh man a little bit of a pain in the butt but yeah so like i said you got to make sure it's off center um let me get you a little closer here so these aren't going to be straight on like the instructions didn't say that it had to be on the left or the right but you want uh that flat spot on mine one should be yours too but that flat spot to be off center just to the right or just to the left but not too much um to where you know practically half of it you know like that picture is off of it but again not center just slightly to the left or the right um obviously you want to make sure that you don't have any play right i might end up adding a shim a small shim here um in this little combo uh, but you want to make sure they're still free playing, right? You don't want them to be super hard to move. That's going to cause a lot of friction. Um, and two, if you put too many shims on one side or the other, it's going to push the blocks left or push the blocks right. And that's going to be a pain in the butt. You won't be able to get them on the studs. But whenever you're done, you figure out the combination that works for you. Just make sure this thing is lubed really good. Um, and then obviously make sure the bolts are torqued. And then we're going to move on to rocker geometry.